Hello and welcome to Newix Bytes. I'm Aidan Jewell and today I'd like to show you the importance of checking the quality of your dataset. I'd also like to highlight Newix's powerful OCR capability which you can run across images and PDFs to ensure your searches hit the right files. In the filters pane of Newix there is a category called irregular items and it's here that we will be focusing our attention. The main reason for coming to the irregular items folder at the start of the case is to identify any files that might require further analysis or work outside of Newix, such as corrupted or unsupported containers or corrupted and unsupported items. A great example as to why I might want to have a look at the irregular items before the start of my analysis is if I come down to this filter here, this is where Newix will show me all of the files it believes to be encrypted. We can see here that there are some examples where the text layer, for example, is not able to be seen because it is encrypted. Here I can export the files and try to crack the passwords myself and then load them back into Newix. Moving on from encrypted items, we have a number of results here for items that have been carved out of Slack space, unallocated space, or that have been carved in general, along with files which have been deleted and the metadata has been recovered. Another great filter within this irregular items folder is our filter here for non-searchable PDFs. This is where Newix has recognized that there are five PDFs here that do not have a text layer. If I click on the native tab, I can clearly see that there is readable text there, but because these PDFs do not have a text layer to them, I currently can't run any searches across them. All is not lost, however, as Nuix has teamed up with Abby in order to include OCR functionality within Nuix Workstation. In order to OCR these PDFs so that I may search the text within, I simply select the items I wish to include, right click, and then click on Perform OCR. This brings up this menu where I can select various settings for how I wish to generate my PDFs and the parallel processing settings link here opens up another screen where I can configure the memory allocation for my workers. Once the optical character recognition process has completed, I just hit OK, it will open up an explorer window showing me where the new files have been generated and it will also re-include these in the text updated section here. So here I can see my five PDFs as before and now the text tab here includes a text layer so all of the text has been stripped out of the native. This means any searches I run will now also run over these five PDFs whereas before they wouldn't. Performing OCR within Nuix is not limited to just PDF files with no text layer. I can also run the OCR function across images such as scanned documents. For example, if I clear my filter and elect to view all the results of the whole case within thumbnail view, I can see all of the images in the case here. If I were to pick an example, say this image15.png, throw my results into results view. If I tick this option, this file, I can right click and perform OCR in exactly the same way as I did on the PDF files that had no text layer. Nowadays, mobile phones have sophisticated cameras on board so smuggling information out of a company is as quick and simple as taking a photograph with your phone. Using Nuix and the OCR technology of Abbey within Nuix, we can capture the text of photographs or scan documents so our searches will hit across them. Finally, I'd like to drag your attention to this bad extension filter here. When Nuix is processing files, it will identify the file by looking at the file signature, which is the first few bytes of the file used to determine what type of file it is. Nuix will then try to match that with the extension of the file. If they don't match, Nuix will report them as having a bad extension. Now, this could be harmless, or in the case with our file here for obscure.ini, we can see that what Windows would see as a .ini file, Nuix is seeing as an Excel spreadsheet. 
A common, if lazy, way of obfuscating a file, keeping it from prying eyes and hiding it in plain sight, would be if the user were to change the extension of the file from, say, .xls to .ini, as in this example. Windows would show it as a .ini file, however Nuix displays it as the Excel file that it is. It has interpreted the file header or file signature, determined it, that it is a spreadsheet, and presents it to the user as such. So, to summarize, the Irregular Items Filter folder within Nuix is a great first port of call once your case has finished processing to come and have a look and see if there are any files that Nuix has deemed interesting, whether you might need to copy any files out for decryption, or whether there are any files that need OCRing in order for your searches to hit on them. Thank you for watching this video on post-processing within Nuix. If you found this video useful, please feel free to share it with others, and also be sure to check out the rest of our videos within our Nuix Bytes series.